Well, I finally went out and did it. After a year of hemming and hawing over it, I finally went and built myself a new Lincoln Electric MIG welder. This is the Pro MIG 140. It's the the model sold by Lowe's. I got this one used on Craigslist. Fairly reasonably priced with a brand new tank from local welding supply shop. Prior to that, I had been using this Craftsman flux core MIG welder that I bought, oh, I don't know, probably five, six, six years ago now, and uh, bought it for, for work on the BMW, but I'm getting to some sheet metal work that's uh, a little too thin to be doing with the, the flux core welder. You know, I did some some 18 gauge sheet metal welding on it and if your technique is really good and uh, you put a, a heat sink on the back or something y you can you can manage but it's still a really dirty welder the welds themselves are all covered in slag when you're done they're not nice and clean and you know I just I hate doing it that way so <clears throat> it wasn't wasn't the cheapest thing in the world I think that one new cost me maybe two two fifty for it. This one used was four fifty with the tank. But new it ran I think the guy paid like seven or eight hundred with the tank when he bought it. I don't know, a year or so ago. Difference between the two, um obviously the the Lincoln one is a, a much nicer unit. They use the uh the Tweco Magnum one hundred L uh, guns on them. This is the Craftsman one here, which, you know, isn't too bad, but uh, inside the Craftsman one has room uh, for, I don't know if you could get a 10 pound spool on there. I sure doubt it. Maybe a 5 pound if you could find such a thing. Um, but I've always used them with the 2 pound spools. You know, for the bound I do, it, it lasts me, you know, a year or so, but. Uh, you know, plastic tension and drive metal drive wheels and stuff. Not a whole lot of control and, and setting voltage. It just has a max and min level and I don't I don't know what they equate to. Wire feed is continuously adjustable. On the Lincoln, um the Lincoln has a, a tapped voltage with five settings and a continuous feed rate adjustment. Um it's fan cooled you can fit, uh, I think, what does Lincoln do, like 12 and a half pound spool, so you can fit at least that on here. There's a lot more room. The tensioning mechanism is quite a bit more substantial. And then, of course, you have your, your shielding gas. This one's a 75-25 mix. And uh, i got a little setup here. I was going to go ahead and, and uh, make a couple welds and just compare the two of them and show you how dirty the flux core is compared to the uh, the MIG welding. There's a big difference between the two, so I'm going to do that right now. All right, guys. We'll start out with the uh, the flux core welder, and we'll do that up. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see over there, but we'll give it a shot and uh, see what we get. One of the big differences between the two is that. The flux core welder is always live. The the trigger here only controls feed and not power to the to the gun. So that's one of the downfalls of this because you know if I feed it and I touch it, it's always on. Um, the Lincoln you can touch it right to it, flip your mask down if you don't have an auto darkening shade, pull the trigger and then start welding. This one you have to uh, have to kind of guess where you're going. Initial impression, a lot of weld spatter, 
<clears throat> last slag to be chipped off. I don't know what I do with my wire brush here. You clean it off. You know, it, it looks alright, but there's still a lot of crap in there. So let's uh, go ahead now and we'll flip this guy around. one here is the Lincoln, Lincoln Pro MIG 140. Like I said, this one you can you can touch your electrode right to it and, and you're okay. the big difference once the camera focuses a little bit you have none of that slag and crap all over the place the weld is nice and clean right from the start and uh, if you're if you're in the market for a welder I highly recommend saving your pennies stay away from the flux core welder and go straight to the gas shielded MIG uh, it's well worth the investment and the weld quality is going to be far superior to anything you'll get with a flux core. That's all for now.